Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today, um, we're gonna be reacting to the twenty-five most absurd fouls in um football. I mean, soccer. I just says football up there. So let's react. These are the twenty-five most absurd Ooh, fouls in football history. And first, the foul that was committed by one of the nicest yeah, guys in football. Nice. It was a matchup between. He is a nice person, though. But yeah. He didn't meant it. Everton and Spurs during the 2019 season. And in the 78th minute, Sun caused one of the most painful injuries imaginable. He tried to reach the ball, but it was too late and hit Gomez's ankle, completely turning it the other way. Players started that to panic, hurt, and like, fans really that watched it up close were shocked. Sun received a red card and was absolutely heartbroken. Like, Obviously, that hurt. foul was unintentional, but the top three has some crazy revenge moments that are a lot more brutal. But first, an amateur player from this tiny country almost chopped off Goretzka's head. It was in the group stage of the World Cup 2022 qualifiers, Germany versus Liechtenstein, and only eight minutes into the game. Oh a my high God. challenge God. there. Dude, yeah, face. this random Look, guy who works for an amateur club in Switzerland almost broke the job of one of Bayern's best midfielders of all time. I'm glad oh, Germany God. butchered Wait. them 9-0. Dude Damn. should go back to playing in his crappy little stadium and leave the pros to it. But even they can lose control sometimes. Because right. what Francesco Totti did the Mario Balotelli didn't only send him off. It also got him a four-match four ban. Match it was ban? the 2010 Coppa Italia final, Ooh, Rome versus Inter. A then 19-year-old Super Mario was dominating Damn. the Italian fields and driving opponents crazy. Right. So 1-0 down with a trophy at stake and less than three minutes left to play. Toddy lost it. Cerca di guadagnare il fondo. Prova a passare in mezzo a tre. Messo giù. Punizione. Cartellino in mano. E ammunizione per Totti. Red. Pulso. In mezzo a due. Lui passa. Even the fireman was like, what the f? And the crazy thing is, Toddy later admitted it was intentional and he wanted to hurt Balotelli for insulting him for years. And I guess De Young held a grudge against Xavi Alonso for some reason. Oh man, that Kung Fu oh. kick never gets old. Crazy to think that he only got a yellow for it. Which can't be said about okay. Sergio Aguero. Because after a 1-3 beating in his own stadium, he went leg first and flew straight Ooh. through David Luiz. The horror tackle got Aguero a four-match ban and Luiz later claimed to have suffered two years years from the reckless job i mean two years that is just way too much because like that two years is a long break damn i feel bad for him but luckily he's good but that's not even the worst foul ever committed on a Chelsea player. Because John Terry almost died on the pitch. The Blues and Arsenal went head to head in the 2007 oh, League Cup final. Wait. With the game tied up and only a few minutes on the clock, Chelsea was given a corner and Terry. They haven't cleared it all. Oh, kick to the face. Oh, come on, we don't want to see this. We don't want to see this. Right. Oh. DMB wanted to clear the his goal, and nose, Terry tried like, heading it in. Nose. Not the best idea. He swallowed his tongue, couldn't breathe, and had to be treated on the field. Oh, the entire damn. stadium was That's speechless. Mourinho right. thought he lost his captain, and DMB was praying right next yeah. to him. He Luckily, he have, fully like, recovered, but the kick to his face was so damn. hard, he doesn't remember anything from the incident. But everyone remembers this <laughs> ridiculous tackle on Messi. This ain't no NFL. I guess some players tend to forget that. I thought me and my friends only did that stuff to each other in FIFA. I feel bad for Morata <laughs> though. But I even feel worse for Gavi, who almost lost his ear during a game versus Osasuna. Ooh. Unfortunately, I can't really show the foul because he was bleeding too much. But the 19-year-old needed medical treatment on the pitch and got his ear stitched up, which looks painful. Ooh. And so does number 16, because during a game between Ajax and Bayern, Thomas Muller- I gotta see how much it has been. Four minutes? Right. Tried recreating the karate kid. As karate he was stretching kid. his leg to reach a long ball, he hit Nico Taglifico straight in the head with his studs, requiring the Argentinian left back to continue the rest of the game Wait. with staples in his for head real. to stop the, the bleeding. The Muller watched really the rest like of the game from the dressing from, like, room and got a two-game ban like, for his sickening foul. But I would that's be like, nothing if compared that to Kevin Muscat's me, tackle that got him banned for eight weeks. Let's see. Getting past Bredner. Muscat, Ooh. he's off again. A Did second strike red though? card for Kevin That's Muscat. Like, and he didn't even see a second yellow. Sense. It's a straight red. The up and under. He's gone yep. way over the ball. Ooh. That is dangerous for Muscat. 
and Adrian Zahar was definitely hurt. He needed surgery on his knee and wouldn't play football for a whole year. Many Australians even claimed the incident tarnished his career, which was almost the case for Aaron Ramsey as well. February 27th, 2010, Stoke City versus Arsenal. The build-up to this right. match was really intense because both managers made it very obvious they hated each other. But nobody hey. expected that day to turn into a horror scene when Ryan Shawcross went Ooh, in ruthlessly God, and the, snapped the Ramsey's in leg into right pieces. Now. One like, player stated, I heard the crack of Ramsey's leg from the bench. Wait, let's hear that. When Ryan Shawcross went in ruthlessly and snapped Ramsey's leg into pieces, one player stated, I heard the crack of Ramsey's leg from the bench. I heard the screaming. Shawcross was immediately sent off like, and got a three-match ban. The entire bro? Arsenal staff was concerned like, that the 19-year-old would never play professional football again. But luckily, he made a comeback nine months later and played seven more seasons for the Gunners. And let's just say that karma came around for Shawcross, because after he'd stated that the injury he caused Ramsey never affected him, he found himself in a familiar situation in 2019. Chasing the ball back gets a challenge and oh, Oh. Ooh, he broke his own calf bone and was ruled oh out for four yeah, months. Really and at number 12, this That's player from Honduras didn't injure one, but two players two? at the same time. Vamos a ver qué pasó con Andrea Orellana. Bro, you're not, you're not playing in the NFL. Pero esto no solo es para mí, es inconcebible que un futbolista pueda hacer esto. No, no, extraño. Es Luckily, he got set off. It's so was three grounds. This heavy challenge Ooh. on Barcelona captain Lionel Messi meant that Tigueros was showing a straight oh, yeah. red card. Dude almost broke the goat's ankle. Now I understand why he has his legs <laughs> shirt for $750 million. Damn. And with that, we've made it to the top 10. To so only the most this. brutal fouls from here. Just wait until we get to the top three. Starting off with this vicious kick to the face. Oh Dude clearly aimed for his head. Yeah. And Paulista aimed for Vinicius's ankles. No wonder he was banned for two games. But this dude oh, yeah, should be banned, banned from, from the Sunday, Sunday League. Like, and at number seven, we got another dude trying to smash Messi's ankle. At least Lopez later denied intentionally stomping on it. Otherwise, he would have been in trouble for sure. And talking about trouble. Oh, but uh, no, that's the challenge. No, 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 Certainly no, no, late. No, no. Well, that's straight up it's late. reckless. He should be banned for like seven that games. outrageous foul on Diaby's ankle resulted in three different surgeries three? and an eight-month recovery period. But he never really got over it because the French midfielder eventually spent 1,747 what? days off the pitch, which is almost five years, Jeez. making him the record holder for having missed more playtime than any other football player in the world. Damn. Somebody walked a similar path as Jesse Rodriguez because the right. kid who was once considered the next Cristiano Ronaldo got his career completely completely ruined in 2014. As he ran toward the corner flag, he got hit by Kolasinac, who then fell onto his oh. knee. Looking at his face, it was obvious things were serious. His oh. anterior cruciate ligament was torn to pieces, oh, and he was sidelined for nine months. Ooh. After that, he was never the same again, and transferred to one club to the other. Now plays for Los Palmas in the second Spanish league. But at least he wasn't as close to having his foot amputated. Cisse. And brush off McEvely, down they both go. Now at first it doesn't look like much happened, but if you look at the replay from this angle, ah, that's just yeah. painful to watch. He broke his leg and was on the sidelines for 10 months, but things could have played out a whole lot worse according to his doctor. Your blood circulation at your foot was irrigated. After 30 minutes to an hour, it would have to be amputated. Oh and with that, we made it to the top three of the dirtiest too. fouls in football history. For number three, we gotta go back to the 14th of October, 2006. Reading versus Chelsea. After All only right. 20 seconds played, Peter Cech was hit in the face by oh, Stefan Hunt, shit. resulting in one of the most horrific moments in football. Shit. The goalie injured his skull, couldn't play for two months, and wore his iconic headband yeah. for the rest of his career. That's Obviously, why. Hunt was definitely devastated that he caused an injury so severe, but at number two, Zlatan oh, was out for revenge. So Together with Juventus, he went up against Inter, and all he wanted was to find the net. But all Marco Matarazzi wanted was to kick him out of the game. Oh. Zlatan was struggling to walk after that, but he wasn't going to go without a fight. He had to get his revenge, but he never got it that game because his manager subbed him off in case he would do something stupid. But Slatan never forgot about that moment and wanted his payback. So when they came face to face again a couple years later, Ibra knew what he had to do, but Come Marco on. beat him to it. Ooh. 
Yes. Yeah, Slaton could have believed what yellow. just hit him. All right, okay, the tone was set. So as soon as he got close to him... Oh, oh my god. Yeah. That kick to the chest, an elbow to the face, put Marco in the <laughs> hospital. Dude, I got shake. How bad? Oh, 10 minutes old. But our number one most brutal foul almost ended someone's life. It's to understand the rivalry between these two, we need to go back to 1997. Hold Alfie that. was playing as a right back at Leeds, and Roy Keane was one of United's best midfielders at the time. As Keane was going for goal, Holland stopped him, causing him to hit the ground and scream to get medical attention. Yeah. Holland Sr. thought Keane was faking an injury to get a penalty, so he stood over him screaming to get up. But what he didn't know is that Keane actually tore his ACL. Keen missed the rest of the season and never forgot about what happened that moment. So when the two clashed again four uh, years yeah. later in April of 2001, this Keen was out for revenge. You better be ready. Roy Keen on Holland. Oh my god. It's a red card. Issued by David Ellery to Manchester United's captain for the fourth time. He was immediately sent off by oh, 5,000 pounds 5, and suspended for three games. But one year later, when the Whoa. Irishman admitted in his 2002 biography that the foul had been premeditated, I had waited long enough. I f***ing hit him hard. The ball was there, I think. Take that, you cunt. And don't ever stand over me sneering about fake injuries. He writes, that is just ridiculous, man. And so are these moments. All right. Peace out, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.